Hello. Hey, I'm calling about the home on Blah Blah Street. Is this the owner? Uh, yes, it is. But I mean, I, I appreciate you calling, but you're you're like the 60th person to call me today. Oh. I'm just it's getting a little crazy right now. So I appreciate you calling, but you know, I'm not interested. Oh my goodness, you're probably getting a lot of calls from realtors. Well, that must be frustrating. Well, I'm gonna go. I like it, like you know, I'm I'm Jason, I'm a realtor. I noticed you guys were selling it. So you guys are definitely not going to work with another realtor, right? Just giving it up and don't want to sell it anymore, right? Yeah, I mean, it was just really frustrating, right? Because uh, I don't, I don't know what happened, but you know what? We're just, we're, we're just gonna take a break. We're, uh, we just need a couple months off, and then maybe we'll, we'll try to sell it again in a few months. <sighs> All right, I hear you. Yeah, I've seen people frustrated like this, so I, I don't blame you for taking a break. Well. Enjoy that time off. And when you guys come back, you know, come back with more strength. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, exactly. We just need a break. So, yeah, I appreciate you calling, though. Uh, have a okay. good day. Thank you. Um, so real quick before I go, uh, my name is Jason. May I ask, uh, what is your name? Uh, Vince. Vince. Okay. So it sounds like you guys are taking a break for a while. Um, but maybe you guys could possibly use some assistance when you guys put the cards back on the table. Think about it. Yeah, when the time comes, you know, I think we're going to be, we just want to take you know, a month or two off and then we might start interviewing agents again. And uh, this time we're really going to, you know, make sure that we're in good hands because last time uh, we went with a family friend and it didn't turn out so well. So wow. our house um, you know, a year, uh, a year now. So it's, yeah, you know, like we're, we're, we're definitely going to vet the person we work with a little bit better. Wow. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. And you know, it's, it's great to trust somebody, but sometimes it doesn't work out. So yeah, I'm sorry about that. Um, well, it sounds like you guys got a lot on your plate, right? Yep. Oh, um, all right. Um, did the, the agents, that you guys worked with, like, did they mention something like why the home wasn't selling? Looks like a nice house. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, the agent that we worked with, they guaranteed us that they were, mm -hmm. it was going to sell, and then it didn't. So I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like, he never explained right. it to us to why it didn't sell. But uh, all I know is that the job's not done and we're still stuck here in Concord, California, where that's the last place I want to be. Wow. 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 But it's, you know, it's kind of like a strange thing. Like, I, I'm sorry. It sounds like you guys are like really exhausted, but, um, but yep, at some it, point, that's you guys exactly wanna... it. So, okay. Did you guys have any reason that you definitely yeah. need to sell the home? Like, is there for sure you need to, or it just kind of might drop it all together? uh yeah we're going to sell it you know we were we we're at that age now where we want to retire me and my wife so uh you know like we're we, so we're not necessarily in a rush but we wanted to take advantage of this hot market and then you know really just move somewhere you know where our money can go a little bit further so we were thinking texas where we were thinking south carolina uh we, we have family there so uh it's more for retirement than anything Okay. Okay. So you guys got a plan. Sounds good. Um, well, when the time comes, how were you guys looking to pick a really great agent who will be right for you guys, really help you guys, you know, get it going so you guys can be happy in the next chapter of your life? Um, you know what? I'm not, I'm not really sure, uh, but mm -hmm. we were going to put up a game plan together. We just wanted to uh, interview, interview the agents, you know, really make sure that I mean, because there are just so many of you guys, right? So it's a, how do you pick a good one? True. So, you know, I just want to make sure that, you know, I, when I, because we found out later on that the agent that we worked with, he was, he was brand new. So he didn't know what he was doing. Oh, so right. I would like to work with an agent that has, you know, uh, 10 plus years. Uh, do you have 10 plus years? Sounds good. Yeah. With, with me and my partner combined, I have over 30 years of experience. And then the last transactions I've done, I've gotten all my clients the highest price, if not over as well. Okay, so so you don't directly have 10 years of experience, but 
you said your partner does. Can I yes. just work with him? <laughs> it didn't make me feel better if I just work with him. Like, no, no, no offense against you, but yeah, no, I, I just don't want to take the chance. How many years do you have? So for me, I've been in it for three years. Uh, but even before I started, I worked the contracts with my dad, who's a realtor. And I'll tell you that I could tell you guys, most likely the last agent you worked with didn't tell you these things, right? Every step of when you get an offer accepted, what's going to come next, the inspection period, what you're going to expect next out of the buyer, and also the timeline of the transaction and how much money you guys will ultimately get put in your pocket. Like, did they give you a net sheet, anything like that? Uh, no, nothing like that. I think the, okay. the agent was really new and he sounded good. He said he was going to, you know, like lesson learned. He just, he just told me that he just told him that he was going to help me sell my home and it was a family of friends. So we kind of trusted him right away. Right. And then, uh, it, it just, uh, we listed our home and it sat there and sat there and then it didn't sell. So, uh, now it's kind of, you know, broken up the, our, uh, cause his, he was a son of my, of my good friend. And then now we're not as good of friends anymore because his son didn't sell my home and he promised you. So it kind of just, it's, it, it's really put a strain on our relationship. Um, and he's one of my best friends. So it's kind of sad to see. That's terrible. Right. Well, you know, that's why they say to be careful when you do business with like uh, friends and siblings and people really close, because you don't want to have some tension at Thanksgiving dinner, you know, for the next year right Some bad feelings being hang or hung around okay right. well i'll let you guys think about it it sounds like you guys have a lot to deal with um what i could do is i could do this i could uh pencil you guys in and you said maybe do something like a couple months from now something like this yeah I mean, yeah maybe maybe in a couple months maybe in like two honestly we just want to take a a break. I don't know how, whenever we feel up, up, whenever we feel like we've rested up a little bit, uh, just because we don't want to be disappointed again. So uh, okay. we're going to come up with a game plan to really vet the agents that the agent that we're going to work with. And uh, we'll just go from there. Okay. So a couple months, it sounds like something like uh, April or something late April. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. That's what we were thinking early or late April. Okay. Well, uh, here's what I could do before I leave. Uh, I think I got a few tools, unlike what happened before, that can really help us and get you guys, you know, what you need, right? So you guys can get on your way. What I could do is I could just pencil in a time for you and me. And I think your wife is selling the house with, with you guys, right? You and your wife? Right. So, yeah, she, she's, um, yeah, she's she's a part of it uh, of it too so do you guys like uh when are you guys more available on the weekdays or the weekends uh i don't know i'll have to check with her sure sure i mean but like if you maybe if you had to guess or something like that um when are the kids off school i so i probably weekdays after you know 6 p.m just because our kids are Okay. Our uh, daycare and stuff, and we get off at five, and we got to go pick them up. Okay. Well, this uh, this is what I could do. Uh, so unlike the agent before, they didn't really give you an expectation of uh, not only would the home sell for the asking price, but how much money will be left over in your pocket afterwards, right? Uh, yeah. No, he he didn't he didn't do any of that. Okay. Well, I could just meet with you guys and give you my professional opinion. And I think you guys are pretty much right on the money. However, I might find something different. I'm gonna do my homework and look at that. And I could show this to you guys a little bit when you've had some time to rest. So I'm thinking like halfway between the rest of two months, like late March, I could come in like March. If you like a Thursday, I could do the 18th or I could do like March 25th after six. Uh, that's so far from now. I mean, uh, just, just, just uh, call me that week. And, you know, I, I hopefully I'll, I'll be free. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll definitely call you that week for sure. Um, but, you know, even if you change it, I just got to put something in the schedule because I get so booked up <laughs> that, um, that I got to put something or else I won't even be able to have 
can't guarantee that I'll have the time to meet up with you guys. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. So yeah, you just put uh, whichever day and send me a, you know, a text that week or just to remind me because, you know, two months out, it's a little bit far out. So I might forget right. to just remind me. Uh, yeah. You can and go ahead and put in your calendar. Yeah. And I could check in a couple of weeks before or something like that real quick, just to text. It sounds like you like technology. Okay. So I'll put you guys for Thursday at 6 p.m. And I'll kind of call you the week before if you need to change the time or day, no problem. Right. Okay. That works. All right. And what we're going to review is we're going to look at how much money you guys are going to sell the home for. And also how much money is going into your pocket when you guys do sell it. Uh, I'm sorry. What was the question? Um, just letting you guys know what I'm going to bring. I'm going to bring, uh, show you guys how much the home will sell for. Uh, given the home sales of other, uh, given the price of other homes that were sold, and also how much money you guys put in your pocket afterwards. Sounds good? Yeah, that sounds good. Cool, Vince. You got my number. You have any questions in the meantime, just uh, go ahead and shoot them my way. If I find anything cool that's valuable to you, I'll send it your way. Perfect. That works. All right. We'll see you way in uh, Thursday, March 18th. Nice. Awesome. Nice. Yeah. I so didn't, somebody. I didn't, hear, I didn't hear what you said because then my phone rang and I looked at the text and yeah, so I was like, yeah, sorry. Oh, it was Lance? No, 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 no. It was uh, like someone texted me and then I looked at the text and I actually didn't hear what you said. So, but it uh, kind of played is into it. Is it your deal? If you have to go, then you have to go. Oh, no, no, no. It's, uh, okay. I don't know. Yeah, we could go real soon. But um, yeah, I felt from your character, I felt like a real honesty and a real scorn. Right. And I didn't feel like the dude was just brushing me off at first, but I really right. felt like he was honestly emotionally like fried and he needed to cool off. Right. So right. I gave him a lot of time to cool off and I could check in in two or three weeks from then, kind of stick right. my foot in the water. <laughs> right, but right, also right. it's like closing too early. You don't want to do stuff too early if you built a relationship because you, you know. Yeah. Right. Cool. Yeah, it's more for like the longer stuff. game.